sweepstakes. Yippee! You could win a trip to SeaWorld when you enter the sweepstakes on the free poster of Shamu inside specially marked boxes of honeycomb and super golden crisp cereal. Winners get to meet Shamu, and all the winter get SeaWorld stickers. Yay! Details on specially marked boxes. Odds of winning determined by entries received. For free entry, write post P.O. Box 853A, Churchill, Maryland, 21690. Maybe you'll win. Make your mouth so very happy. Oh, so happy. Milk it does. Milk does body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow up big and tall. It's good for tea. And that's not all. It does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh moo juice makes my day. Moo. Oh. It does a body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does a body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. The night starts ordinary with forever friends. It's extraordinary. Here's Plushy Tail, Cozy Tail, and Snowy Tail too. Each sold separately. Powder Tail and Rosy Tail came to see you. All down up with forever friends. Making long tails always makes us smile. Look so right with forever friends. Cause now Plushy Tail comes with everything you see here. Other Forever Friends sold separately. New from Kenner. We'll return after these messages. Four batteries not included. Hi. My name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I really... Everybody out! Then, one day, we found an old treasure map. Right. Teddy Ruxpin comes with illustrated book and cassette from Worlds of Wonder. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the part of this complete breakfast that goes... Rice Krispies. Have you heard how good they are? We now return to the real Ghostbusters. We'll return after these messages. Mmm, breakfast with my fruity pebbles. <laughs> Treating Fred out of his pebbles is always an adventure. Uh-oh, the natives are restless. Oh, save the pebbles! Bedrock Jones! Tastes fruity delicious. Funny! Time to get into the swing of things. Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious! A new racing team is shifting into gear. Mask. Pull over, bullet. Uh-oh, got a bit of miguana on my tail. Bulldog, prepare to assist. Mask vehicles each sold separately with a figure. Kendra with a bike will fill my blade. Engage hover mode. We're going fishing. Mask. Bulldog, fire! Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Bulldog, Iguana, and Bullet each sold separately. New from Kenner. Give me an X. X. Give me an O. o. Give me tic tac toe. Well, everywhere I go, it's X's and O's. Makes me feel so hungry for my tic tac toes. They're so tasty. Tick, 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 tack toes. New tick, tack toes. A good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Tick, 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 tack toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah. You know when you see it, those trees must be tears. All right, remember, stick to the game plan. Right. Point one, they come to you. 
1.2, Never Look Hungry. Oh, there's so big on chocolate. Yeah, chocolate after here. Let's not forget point three. What's that? No one points one and two aren't working. It's hard to keep them on the wrap, so three. Three musketeers. Wait for me. There's magic in the air and surprises everywhere. Hard enough, out of the way. Here we come. Move over. Adventure here, action there. Catch the Ewoks if you dare today. I thought I'd tried it all. Then one day, new Hostess Chocolate Bliss. Whoa, check that super chocolatey icing. Awesome! Ooh! Hey, whipped chocolatey cream inside. XO! Two devil's food cakes. Come on, how chocolatey can it taste? Want some? New Hostess Choco Bliss is chocolatey on top of chocolatey with chocolatey in between. Yeah! New Hostess Choco Bliss is triple chocolatey out of control. Yeah! Grandpa, tell me the sun kiss story again. Ah, the magical land of the Sunkist Factory. <laughs> and only their sweetest and juiciest oranges ever wear the Sunkist name. Hey, guys, guys, what's you listening to? Music. Crackle Pop music. Can I listen to? Sure, just pour the milk. Yeah, crackle Pop talking just for you. That's so sound system. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Rice Krispies is always music to your ears. <laughs> M&M's peanut chocolate candies. You can share them. You can shake them. You can get outrageous with them. One snack pack at free at Rice Krispies. Live from Hollywood, it's the Betcha Bite Chip Show, starring me. And now, I'll be the first contestant to bite a chip soy cookie without biting a chip. I bit a chip, but I'm cool. Hey, it's like a uh, chocolate chip party going on here. Sam, your homework. Mm. Chips Ahoy, original in the blue bag, chewy in the red. Betcha Bite a chip. Sunday, Haley Mills is all grown up. Go for it, Mom. And about to be trapped. If we could get our parents together, they get married. But they'll need help. She's my mom's twin sister. It's double deja vu. Two. In the Parent Trap, part two. Tomorrow. And now, these messages. Negative. Sunkiss searches and searches for fun fruit trees. The only trees funny enough I found them. to grow Sunkiss fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. And now we've discovered new Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. They're covered with yogurt and filled with fun. New Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. It's coming. Think of And it tastes so sweet. You'll hop when you eat. Kellogg's Honey Smack. Tastes so sweet. I did. You'll hop when you eat. Think of Make it jump for joy as they grow that boy. Kellogg's Honey Smack. A honey sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. Think of What are those kids up to? Tastes so sweet. You'll hop when you eat. Think of Kellogg's Cronin takes the ball at the top of the key. He pops. Jared! Three points! He's double teamed. He's driving over the top. Slam dunk for Jared! What moves? Cronin's teams. They're all over him. He breaks loose. Swish! Jared! You know, ever since I got this Nerf hoop, I don't mind going to my room to do my homework. Jared! Are you studying? Cronin shoots from midcourt. Yes! Does this kid ever miss? There's only one Nerf. Getting in the drugs and being high is a stupid thing to do. Be an original and take a stand. You're free to say no. Don't let a friend put you in. So taking drugs, you got a right to say no. We will return after these messages. 
Ronald McDonald in Hoppin' for Fries. Hop this way for McDonald's French fries. It's a hopstacle course. Let's get hoppin'. Oh, boy, hop guy. <laughs> oh, Ronald, go! It's a good time for the great taste. Oh, boy, French fries! Oh, they're never more than a hop, skip, and a jump away. Hop oh, McDonald's. <laughs> Dear, Timmy's making a picture of New Tang again. New Tang breakfast beverage crystals. Are you ready? Now it's all natural flavors. Are you ready for the big orange taste of New Tang? Twix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your song. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel satisfaction. Like crispy cookie gets you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks to Twix can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. This is the city. These are the people. There are the ghosts. And here are the heroes we come to love. Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters! When there's a war to be won, they'll get it done. Not funny. The real Ghostbusters today. We'll return after these messages. It's that time of year again, and Cadbury has hatched up milk chocolate mini eggs for Easter, made with Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. Inside the crisp sugar shell is a chunk of thick and creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That's why mini eggs give you a chocolate experience that is so special. Although Easter isn't here yet, Cadbury's mini eggs are, so discover for yourself which comes first, the bunnies or the eggs. Give me an X. X. Give me an O. o. Give me tick, 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 toe. Well, everywhere I go, it's X's and O's. Makes me feel so hungry for my tic tac toes. They're so tasty. Chef Boyardee's. Tick, 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 tac toes. New tic tac toes. A good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Tick, 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah. Why my mom should take me to Showbiz Pizza by Jeffrey Allen Adams. It's because I have been good at school and home, and I have not picked fights with my sister very much. Hey, little brother, come and have a ball. At Showbiz Pizza, you'll be walking tall. Flavors in one. New luscious lime and banana berry split. Yum it up with bubble yum. Milk it does. Milk does body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow up big and tall. It's good for teeth. And that's not all. It does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh moo juice makes my day. Milk. It does a body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does a body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. When delicious peanutty cream comes together with a crunchy candy shell, what you got is Reese's Pieces. One great tasting candy. In a crazy world where things don't always fit, it's great to know there are some that do. Reese's Pieces, the winning combination. Oh, 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 my best friend and an Oreo cookie. She loves the crunchy chocolate 
I like the creamy middle. Been eating them this way since we were very little. We'll always be friends with O-R-E-O. -E friends are better when you pair them. Oreos are better when you share them. Oreo cookies. Share them. Nabisco. Hi there, time for Timer, your roving reporter. I'm talking to you from inside a fantastic factory, your digestive system. You know what we build here? You! Not out of wood or metal, but out of food. You see, you are what you eat from your head down to your feet. Things like meat and eggs and fish you need to build up muscle tissue. Uh-oh! Hello, appetite control, more protein. We need energy. Playing tennis today, you know. Whoops! All these motors in your body need a lot of fuel to go on, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, vitamins, and so on. What's left over forms the building blocks you need, indeed, to grow on. Yes, you are what you swallow, so that next time you feel hollow, don't just fill your face with any old kind of treat. This goes for every kid or six-foot athlete. All you really are is what you eat. Wait for me. There's magic in the air and surprises everywhere. Pardon us, out of the way. Here we come. Move over. Adventure here, action there. Catch the Ewoks if you dare today. And now these messages. I'd like to thank the guy who changed the straw and made my high seat better than before. Who put the straw in my high seat blue train? A new cool straw that wiggles and bends. A new long straw in my high seat blue train with vitamin C for me and my friends. Who was that man? Monday's bad or Tuesday's sad. Make a Saturday. That's a Sunday. Wednesday rains or Thursday's gray. Make a Saturday. Looks like a Sunday. Instead of half a banana and a pineapple ring, add yogurt cream smooth. Pop a grape on top and that's a Saturday for you. Mm. Make a weekend treat any day of the week. Make a Saturday. Now that's a Saturday. Space exploring is hard work. Yeah, now I've got to refuel myself. I know. Let's go to the Milky Way. That'll hit the spot. The fun's just starting. Quick will make it rich, chocolatey, and delicious. Ah, Quick really puts me in orbit. Nestle Quick, the taste that gets you going. What's scary? Bounces and has a face only a mother could love. Ugly Ball. You can get one free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending ten outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly Balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. I'm rooting for a terrific flavor from Bunker's Chewy Candy. Chewy chocolate Bunker's. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. <laughs> the delicious chocolatey taste of Chewy Chocolate Bunker's bonks you out. On The Health Show with Kathleen Sullivan. Chances are you had cereal for breakfast. Find out why some are better for you than others. On The Health Show, later today. The Legoland Solar Power Transporter. You can build this transport pretending you're on Mars. The box shows ways to change it by snapping off the cars. You can snap them back together and get a scouting craft. Or match them with the lasers for a base defender craft. You can make up something wild, supercharged, and new. The sky's the limit when the team is Legoland and you. There are 19 space sets you can collect, each sold separately. The Solar Power Transporter is part of the Legoland Space Collection and has hundreds of bricks for building from Lego Systems. They don't hang around in ladies' clubs or in a three-piece suit. They're too big to call them dainty. Too big to call them cute. Yeah, they're so big on chocolate. Ooh, chocolate out to here. It's hard to keep up on the rest of the team on the team. So, gentlemen, what's on the agenda for this evening? Oh, I have oh, I... the time of my life. Can that be done for the $7? Musketeers. <laughs> 
to get that great berry taste in Crunchberry cereal, Captain Crunch sails high seas to a land filled with food so danger. There grow the sweetest, juiciest berries, but they're still not crunch berries. No, not till crunch power locks their sweet berry taste in, so it's tough to sog out. And only then does Captain Crunch return. With my tasty crunch berries for kids everywhere. My God, what a cereal. Crunch berries are a very good part of a balanced breakfast. Ronald McDonald and friends in... Keeping up for breakfast. I love morning exercises. The music. And having breakfast at McDonald's when we're done. Yummy! Let's exercise faster! <laughs> oh, here we go! I love going for a spin. It's a good time for the great taste. A good breakfast at McDonald's. <laughs> Where else would we turn up? At McDonald's. one ball free in Cookie Crisp cereal. You can collect them in five dazzling colors. These high bounce balls are wild. I'm Captain O.G. Rebor. My motto is tried and true. Read a book today, I bet you'll say O.G. <laughs> I'll read more too. <laughs> we'll return after these messages. Hey, what's all the fuss, Penguin? Expecting company? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The lucky winners of the post cereal SeaWorld sweepstakes. Yippee! You could win a trip to SeaWorld when you enter the sweepstakes on the free poster of Shamu inside specially marked boxes of honeycomb and super golden crisp cereal. Winners get to meet Shamu, and all the winter get SeaWorld stickers. Yeah. Details on specially marked boxes. Odds of winning determined by entries received. For free entry, write post P.O. Box 853A, Churchill, Maryland, 21690. Maybe you'll win. Twizzlers make me very happy. I love the way they taste so chewy. Twizzlers make me very happy. We love the way they taste so fruity, so fruity, so chewy, so happy and oh so juicy. Twizzlers make me very happy. Twizzlers make your mouth so very happy. Oh, so happy. Look at Dad! Milk does body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow up big and tall. It's good for tea. And that's not all. Ah, it does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh Moo juice makes my day. Moo, oh. it does a body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does a body. Milk it does a body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. The night starts ordinary with forever friends. It's extraordinary. Here's Plushy Tail, Cozy Tail, and Snowy Tail, too. Each sold separately. Powder Tail and Rosy Tail came to see you. All down up with forever friends. Making long tails always makes us smile. Looks so right with forever friends. Cause now we're all dolled up with style. Plushy Tail comes with everything you see here. Other forever friends sold separately. New from Kenner. Turn after these messages. Four batteries not included. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? I really. Everybody out! Then one day we found an old treasure map. Teddy Ruxpin comes with illustrated book and cassette from Worlds of Wonder. 
Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the part of this complete breakfast that goes... Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Have you heard how good they are? We now return to the real Ghostbusters. Hey everybody, and thank you, EVPV, for the follow and the bits as soon as I sat down. I appreciate that. Got everything up and running now. See, everybody likes the commercials. Funny enough, that's uh, basically what I started my YouTube channel with. I mean, not with any intent of doing anything. I was cleaning out my parents' house, and uh, I forget exactly where they were, but I found a, like a whole thing of VHS tapes, and... Uh, I think it was like when I played Little League, I would miss all the Saturday morning cartoons, so I'd have to record them. So I had all these cartoons, like Ghostbusters and stuff from when I was a kid. And I was kind of going through it. I was like, man, these commercials are ridiculous. So uh, I ripped them onto my computer and uploaded them all to YouTube. So that's that's where those came from. If you go to the uh, the video game channel, I have like a whole compilation of them. But thanks everybody for following me over from Genstream. Hope everybody had fun. Got lots of uh, stupid news as usual. Let's see here. Here we go. Yeah, so if you were here last week, this is uh, kind of the culmination of all the news stories. Um, this was, uh, what was the result of it? The, uh, the Blobster. <laughs> that was from... Uh, um, I can't remember where that story came from, but it, it basically, I didn't know what the term blobster meant. It's basically like a, just an unidentified rotten carcass that they find washed up and don't know what it is. Usually it's a whale. And so that's basically Megan is a blobster and then Harry, that's just what I ended up doing. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's why that's why it looks like a gross blob because it was the news of last week. Auctioning that for charity. <laughs> yeah, I may uh I need to export that. I can put it up as a community post and maybe I can put it out on Twitter, get Jen to retweet it too. So yeah. Um we talked about it some, like if you're new, I used to uh well, I, have, I actually have an art degree. That wasn't my intent when I went to college. I just took enough classes, and I was like, I was at literally at the point where it was like, oh, I just need two more classes, and I have a bachelor's in art. Okay, I'll do that too. And uh, this is what I'm doing with it. Uh, I just remembered. Let me, I should have grabbed this before. One second. I got, I found, I was trying to find, I've got a, sketchbook somewhere most of my stuff is still at my parents house so i i'll have to dig to find anything really old or you know that's not stupid but um i have i found one drawing up here in in, in my office that I had like tucked behind something i found a second one let me let me grab that i'll be right back
All right. So one of these I showed, one of these I showed last stream or two. These are ancient. Thank you for the sub, Cancity Janine. So that's on the YouTube side. I appreciate it. Hey, science fiction, what's up? John, show me some of your comic character sketches there on point. Man, I've got some old ones. I think they're down in the basement still. <clears throat> um, like, I look back and they're like, hey, they're all right. They still hold up. I've got some, like, it's when the Return of Superman stories were going. So I've got, like, Cyborg Superman, like, <laughs> in a mat and stuff. Somewhere in the basement, I believe. But, um, see if I can. Mike's in the way here. So I found some like animal sketches. I think I did these in high school. Um, and they, they were just kind of chilling in uh, my parents' house. And I brought them here because monkeys are funny. It's pencil, so it's held up. It's, it's wrapped in plastic. So that was a, that was a good call. Um, oh yeah, this is the other one. It's my, my thinking monkey. He's a very serious monkey. There's really no story behind these. I think it was an assignment in class in high school, and I'm just like, monkeys are funny. <laughs> And honestly, that's why they ended up in my office, because monkeys are funny. I used to, we, we moved and I never hung them back up in the, in the new place, but uh, in my old spot, I think I had them up on the wall. But uh, let's see, EVP, what's your favorite style of drawing to do? It depends. I mean, I, I always wanted to be a comic book artist, so I do like comic book art. Um, but I can do realistic stuff or like, cartoons i mean i've been told that my style kind of looks like simpsons ish so i kind of like just doing stupid stuff like that that's why i want to find my i had a like a little uh almost ipad sized sketchbook i can't remember what's in it but i i used to have it at my old job so whenever it got slow and i got bored i would just draw stupid stuff in it so there's that and uh let me see while we're talking about while we're doing art talk let me see if i can find myself i s still have a deviant art account which is freaking ancient I don't even know what my password is. Let me see if I can just find myself. I have so much crap on my desk. Let's see, Jay, do you do anime? Um, I can. I haven't. I'm trying to remember. I haven't specifically done anime. I believe. I can get my deviant art to pull up here. I have an anime-ish drawing of uh, like a Street Fighter character, I think. If I can find my account, <laughs> I don't remember. I know it's Doctor Bad Vibes. If I can't find it. I'll. I'll just, I need to bookmark this so I have it. This is thrilling. Yeah, I, I honestly cannot remember. Yeah, it's funny, Jackie. So um, <laughs> that was before the teeth thing came out, I believe. So I'm I'm uh, I'm a fortune teller. I saw the future. <laughs> Let's see, Palm. Look at British newspaper cartoons. Might be your style. Yeah, I tried to. I tried to do cartoons for the college paper but they, they i was straight up told i was too offensive <laughs> i mean it was just like making fun of everything so they said they're like no nah. um hmm. 
Sorry, I'm just trying to look here. Man, I cannot remember. Can't remember my username on DeviantArt. Oh, wait. I think I just found it. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Let me switch it over. One sec. And this stuff is like pretty old. I mean, not that the monkey drawings are new stuff. <laughs> if I can zoom in here. What's this little symbol? Oh, it's my it's for my birthday week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I I haven't been streaming long. I just switched over from Jen. Let me see what I have here. I'm just going to go through what I have on my DeviantArt. I don't really, believe it or not, even though I'm doing this all online, most, and my degree also, you have to pick a specialization. It's digital art, but that's, I'm really not good at digital. That was the whole reason I did that, because they didn't really teach much of anything. You just kind of showed up and did what you already knew. So I, I learned traditional methods first, and all the digital stuff I learned is pretty much out of date now, because that was 20 years ago. Like, some of it still applies, but uh let's see i mean this is pretty <laughs> pretty indicative of what time this came up this was the first thing i did when uh i got the original ipad i was holding out uh because we couldn't get it we didn't have uh uh at&t where i lived so i was like i couldn't get a uh, uh i couldn't get an iphone so i was waiting for the ipad and when i got it i'm like hey wait i can draw with this thing so I, and i was in the adventure time so i did this at work i'm like hey it's finn oh hey hey mcmeow thanks for the early birthday uh yeah this more adventure time it's supposed to be a stomach because i think somebody had an upset stomach and that's what i made <laughs> uh gosh when did i do this i think this was like the end of high school I believe. Um, pretty. This one was pretty fun. Oh, hey, new sub, Julie Smith. Thank you for joining the YouTube channel. Um, yeah, this one, the crab I drew, I did this on paper. It's all, I can't remember. I think I have to look at it to remember exactly. I think it's colored pencils. It may be oil pencils. And the white is actually white out. Just kind of dabbed it on to make it look, you know, shiny and cut it out of the paper my mom uh she, she was an art teacher she actually had all this scrap mat board and made this backing in the mat for it this one i'm pretty sure it's still up at my parents oh, yeah i know this one's still up at my parents house it's in their laundry room because why not why don't i have a crab in the laundry room um this one i think gosh man these are so old i think this one uh yeah this was in uh the end of high school also um I don't remember what we exactly did. I think it's like that really thin canvas paper stuff. I think it was oil paint. And then I took a, uh, like a little razor blade and made the uh, highlights. This is all from memory, so I may be totally wrong. This one I never finished. So this is an oil painting. Gosh, man, this is also in high school. I started it in high school. You can tell it's not done. I got the tree up there like... Like I was still working on it, but uh, I stored it. You can't really see in the picture, but there's a stain going down the side. So, oh yeah, you can see it here and like over the ocean. That one made me mad because that was probably one of the best looking oil paintings I did and it got messed up in storage. I need to find a way to, if I can clean it up a bit, I would probably finish it. Uh, okay, these are a little... I say newer, it's because it's in college versus high school. This was in my dorm. I think it was just like a, hey, go home and paint something, it's in your dorm. And uh, I think it was, I think it's acrylic. Yeah, yeah, this one's acrylic. It's hard to, it's hard to tell from the photo. I'm trying to remember. This one was oil. Believe it or not, this was a still life. This is what the professor set up. He had all these drapes in a 
skeleton holding a, a little beanie baby frog or something. I was like, all right. I don't have much more on here. Oh yeah, this was also college. This was when I started digital art. I think this was like when I first learned Photoshop. I remember this one because the professor's like, I think the assignment was literally like, what stage in your life are you on? So I put this up. I'm like, I'm in the bonus stage. And he's like, oh. <laughs> But additionally, like, I'm not really doxing myself, but I went to UVA. So if that looks familiar, that's why. <laughs> and that's supposed to be me at the time. And there's like a Mario-esque Thomas Jefferson statue, because why not? But yeah, I haven't, that just like dawned on me that I had deviant art. I haven't looked at this in like freaking decade. How long, I wonder if it says how long I've had this account. I started this because one of my friends did it. Yeah, like I'm, I still have a reference to an iPod on there. <laughs> but yeah, I got into DeviantArt for like a month. Again, like I'm really in the comic book art. So I, I, a lot of the artists like I liked were uh, posting their work. So it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's why I had a friend that was God, when was it? Twenty ten. <laughs> that's the last comment I got. Um, yeah, I, I had some friends that were using Deviant Art at the time, and I, I was like, "Hey, I'll try it out." And then you know, didn't do much with it. But I have to dig it up see if I have anything else. So you know, I guess that's just kind of. Trying to show that, hey, I can do more than just dumb stuff, but I prefer to do dumb stuff. <laughs> uh, mostly I've just done, since I've been out of college, other than just messing around, it's mostly just been like graphic design. But, but yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for the compliments. And thanks again, to everybody, for following me around. I get this watch time. I don't want to say too much about it on Jen's channel, but yeah, YouTube totally pulled the football out from under me like Lucy. Like my watch time was so close to hitting uh, uh, 3,000 hours. And I'm like, yeah, then I can start doing stuff. And then I log back in and I'm like, wait, it's back down to like 2,100. What happened? It like totally erased watch time from a video for some reason. Let's see. Jackie, AJ, it's late here, so I'm going to duck out now, but I'll leave the stream running. Thank you so much, Jackie. I really appreciate it. And Spectre, stop messing around, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I know. I, so I've got my... I just happen to have this up. I've got my... Like Jen's, I've got a little merch site. I want to make some stickers and t-shirts, not, you know, merch per se, just silly ideas I had. I'm trying to think of... I've got a whole list of them. The only one that pops in my head right now because it's kind of uh, a real life thing I do. Like if we have groceries, I'll, my motto is one trip. So I'll load each hand up with like 30 bags and carry it all in. So I want to make a, I want to make a uh, t-shirt uh, that's uh, like a bodybuilder, like a, like a guy version and a girl version is like they're covered in grocery bags. It just says one trip. Just, I've got some other stupid ideas. Let's see. EVPV watch time is calculated over a certain time frame as well. Right? Yeah. Uh, this channel's so new though. That's the problem. It's it, like the watch time that matters is, uh, from the last calendar year. And this channel's not even that old. So it was like, it was just a fluke. I even happened to see it. It looked like a bunch of people watched an old live stream and I had a ton of, uh, watch time from, from that day. And then it just disappeared. I don't know. I mean, I'm not too, I'm not going to get torn up over it. I mean, it, YouTube's going to YouTube. I mean, it'll still happen. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Second trips are for wimps. <laughs> Uh, Princess Dumber. Is that Charlottesville? I went there once. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's Charlottesville. I haven't been in a while. Uh, gosh, I graduated 
in 03. So that's, gosh, it's been forever since I've been there. I, I went for my 10 year reunion and I think I went once with Jen, but even that, yeah, that was like 10 years ago. So it's probably totally different. I still have some friends there. I'd like to go back at some point. And, and funny enough, one of my roommates and friends, uh, he still lives there, but he had a, he had a t-shirt business for a while. He's kind of moved on to printing and I think he runs a couple of comic book stores now, but, uh, yeah, he was doing a lot of t-shirt stuff and we, we talked about, you know, uh, like doing some kind of collab like back then, but but uh, I never did it. Now he's not doing as many T-shirts. Let's see. So I heard some others talking about YouTube servers borking out a few weeks ago, messing with accounts. That's possible. Yeah, it was like old, old stuff. I mean, not it, not old, old, but I mean, it was from like a week ago. I think I don't know that YouTube's data is always off, so I, I'm not I'm not torn up over it. It's just. I thought I was there. I was ready to celebrate. And then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, I'm in this for the long haul. So, you know, if, if I got to wait another week or two, whatever, no biggie. Let's see. But it'll probably, it's in the description. It'll roll in the chat, you know. I'm not trying to peddle merch <laughs> so much, but I've got some stuff here. Uh, I want to want to put my silly stuff up. I mean, you're probably aware. Like, I think all of Jen's merch I've designed, so I, I want to do some of my stupid ideas. And I'll get into the news in just a minute. Um, this one. I had two that were sent to me. Well, thank you, Graceland. <laughs> I, I really appreciate that. That does help. Let me, uh, give me one sec here. Before I start doing the news, I'm going to put my email in the chat. So. I wasn't paying, I put it in the Twitch chat. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Well, it's in Twitch for everybody in Twitch. Let me put it in this. I'll, I'll put it in the description too. If you go to my main YouTube page, you can see it. But uh, Dr. Bad Vibes at protonmail.com. If you have any silly news stories or anything, uh, just send them to me. I got a couple this week. Uh, it seemed to have people's real names on it, so I may not read that out. Uh, I know. Tr Trey Sloan was one of them. I know that's her name in the chat, so that's no big deal. The other one, I'm not sure. So I don't want to give out anybody's real name with their email. So just, you know, if the, if, if, if you, if you recognize this story, just uh, let me know in the chat. But uh, yeah, the first two are from, from the community. And while I'm in Twitch chat, I need to look. I think I think if you look in the about section, there are some Twitch commands. I'm working on getting these ported over to the YouTube as well. I haven't done all that yet. Hello, hello, hello. And because I'm thirsty, just a little demo here. I've got channel point redemptions on Twitch. I'll hopefully have these um hopefully I'll have these working on uh YouTube soon. What's it doing here? <laughs> it's like stuck. Look at that shit. <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm with the news. Look at that shit. So yeah, the criterium it's uh I don't know, just anything it's funny or weird or gross, <laughs> just anything, anything stupid. And what's up? My channel redemptions aren't working. Oh, well, okay. I just wanting to, 
Yeah, those may be the only two sound commands right now. I'm trying to remember. If that's all it's listed. I think I started putting them on and... Uh, oh, there we go. Well. Thank you for the hydration redemption. That's what I was trying to... Trying to get my chug redemption to go. It wouldn't work. Hey, green beans for me. How's it going? It's weird. My Twitch redemptions are not wanting to cooperate, on my, at least on my end. Press one more time. There we go. I love that when I got to play it. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, I've got this one came from New Zealand. Yeah, EVPV. Yeah, I've got the soundbite add-ons and uh the blurps, I think. Yeah, one of my in real life friends, he's uh he's been streaming for a while. He kind of got me turned on to that, but I haven't I haven't messed with him that much. <laughs> Let's see, Tony, how many subs do you need? I actually have enough subs. It's all about the watch time now. Um Jen and I are very close on our new channels. And it's been a while, like so. I've got my video game channel. If, if you're not familiar with that one, that's just Doctor Bad Vibes. If you're into like retro games, got a lot of fighting game stuff up on there. Um, I actually started with Twitch. I wanted to do Twitch uh, for. Uh, I, I wanted to stream first, but our internet was so bad. I was like, I can't do it. And uh, so. Uh, I still had that YouTube channel with the commercials on. I'm like, well, it's like, I'll just put the gameplay footage up here and see what happens. And I started making compilations and uh, I had a I had one video specifically. It blew up. Like, I think it's almost at like 3 million views now. So that's kind of what I've been doing over there. And the, the reason I bring that up is it seemed like right when that channel got monetized, it's like YouTube's like, okay, it's legitimate. And it just started pushing it out to everybody. And that's when that one video caught on. Because it was fairly old, I think, when uh, when it took off. <laughs> yeah, Danny DeVito's amazing in that show. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So, um... Oh, Sunshine. My son loves your video game channel. He's obsessed with all things 80s and 90s. That's awesome. I appreciate that. I'm trying to do more... Um, like I kind of got if you do stuff on YouTube you kind of get put in like a box like doing the same thing over and over so I have a lot of fighting game content but I want to I've been putting up like some Nintendo and arcade stuff as well so I want to try to get back into doing uh some of the Nintendo games Oh yeah, those Jersey Max commercials, those are pretty funny. <laughs> and then EVP. No, no, advice is always wanted here. I totally forgot about that PRISM program. It's funny you brought that up earlier. So uh, the uh, PRISM app, I didn't even know that existed until about a week ago. I was I was looking at something else, like how to set up a chat bot or something. And it, and it popped up as something about streaming on the Mac. And I'm like, what's that app? So I saved it and looked at it i didn't watch it in detail but uh glancing at it uh i want to try it if i could stream on my mac without having the dual boot that would make that would make my life a lot easier um we'll see if i can't it's no big deal i mean i got windows on this computer also it would just uh i mean as much as some of their apps annoy me i've, I've pretty much been an apple user since the 80s so <laughs> I'm, I'm not changing but I don't play games on my Macs. That doesn't happen. Let's see. Mary Richter. I miss Space Invaders and television. That, yeah, that's cool. And television was my first system. Um, 
we I don't I keep I need to ask my dad like we had an Intellivision like literally as far back as I can remember like about age three or so I don't know where it came from um I assume it probably came from a garage sale because we had we had this storage container it was like an ottoman that opened up one of those eighties things I think it was like meant for Intellivision games it had like little slots for it so we uh always had that in television hooked up in our house with the crazy uh telephone looking controls we had uh we still have them too uh unfortunately they've both overheated and burned out we had the uh we had the Intellivision one that was the the brown one and then we had the Intellivision two i mean it was the same system just different shell it was like the gray one and we had the uh the voice add-on so i need to it looks like that's a common thing where they overheat I think in both cases we thought we turned them off and we didn't, so they ran all that. And the next day they wouldn't turn back on. But it, I saved a YouTube video years ago. It looks like you can swap out some of the parts on the power supply and bring them back to life. So I'd, I'd like to do that just because that was my first system. Let's see, my first was a Pong, Atari Twenty Six Hundred, Coleco, and Nintendo. Yeah, we had that in television for a while. I remember, I actually remember, uh, I think it was Christmas. We got the, I remember when we got the Nintendo. I think that was for Christmas. And not long after that, I remember my dad just randomly came home one day and he's like, hey, look, I felt, he's like, they had this in the store and it was Super Mario Brothers and we lost our minds. Uh, and we still, to this day, I've had to save it from getting thrown away multiple times. I think my brother has also, we still have the original box for the uh, Nintendo we got. It still has like the Sears, uh, the store of Sears. It has the, the price tag on it. So it's the, uh, I forget what they call it, the the deluxe set. It was the one that had the little robot with it, which was a joke, but it's the big box. Yeah, we've got a ton of those in television games. It stinks because <laughs> you've got all those games they never, like, you can find Ataris all over the place, but you can't find, uh, um, you can't find in televisions hardly. So that's kind of why we hung on to them, but it, they won't turn on. Let's see, Prussia, how much did it cost then? That is a good question. I do not remember. I want to say, because I don't have a picture of it. If I, if I had it with me, I could just look at it. I want to say it was like, it may have been one ninety nine, maybe it's two ninety nine. It was the deluxe one, so it was probably it was probably more. It was one or the other, I think. Now, now you got me curious. How much did the NES deluxe set retail for? Oh wow, one seventy nine. I mean. You know, with inflation, that's ridiculous, but. Yeah, it's equivalent to 550 in 2023. Good Lord. Yeah. Usually with those old systems, we got the Nintendo ones like right when they came out. And then we get, you know, a couple of games. And I have money saved up and. I had a habit of buying all the systems like as they were dying. Like I got a Sega CD and uh, Saturn, Dreamcast. All I got all those when they were like being thrown out. Actually, the best deals I got mainly because I, I didn't have time to play games in college, so I didn't really have many systems. Um, I think when the uh, when the GameCube was on its way out uh, and the Wii was about to come out, I remember there was a GameStop near me and they were just blowing out all the GameCube stuff. I think I bought the system for 25 bucks and uh, I even got the, the broadband adapter. That was before everybody knew that it was valuable and <laughs> essential to piracy at the time. And uh, the Game Boy player, I think I got that for like, it was something stupid, like 20 bucks. So I got all this GameCube stuff for dirt cheap and now it's all outrageous. I think that Game Boy player is like $200 or something if you were, try to find one now so i'm just gonna sit on them like freaking nerd treasure 
in yeah so i got the broadband adapter for the gamecube because i wanted to uh we had this dream <laughs> like my my friends and i in college uh we saw that you could network mario kart uh double dash and have like you know have four or eight characters on each uh system i think we were gonna do four on each one so i had this weird there was that weird time when tvs were like starting to become hd and i had this crappy uh i want to see if i can find a picture of it it was one of those rear projection uh cabinet tvs I'm gonna find a picture of it here. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was it was this one. It had some RCA. I bought it from Circuit City. <laughs> um. Yeah, picture in picture. So the thing with this one, it's like whatever. It's a projection TV, but it had a dual tuner in it, so you could plug up two uh, composite signals. And split it down the middle, and you could you could watch HD on it, or you could watch two SD signals at the same time. And I was sitting there, I was like, "Hey, man, like, what if we had two Game Cubes and two broadband adapters, and we had eight people on one TV playing Mario Kart?" <laughs> so that was like a, a dumb thing we were always wanting to do. But uh, right when I had that idea, I think that's when they found out that. Um, the broadband adapter could be used for piracy and the, the price shot through the roof and everybody everybody bought them you couldn't find them you still can't find them and then not long i mean it was insane literally the the day my warranty expired this tv literally exploded like i turned it on one day and it just, i heard like glass explode inside of it so i'm like all right well there goes that dream <laughs> never never went back to it Let's see. But yeah, I remember when Atari was the thing, Graceland. Uh I never had one. Uh I mean I've I think we my brother picked up like he's always we collected a bunch of game stuff like in the two thousand like early two thousands, so everything was dirt cheap then. So we bought all kinds of silly stuff. I pre I I was more into collecting the systems and my brother was more into getting the games. So between the two of us, we have like, like so much stuff that we got from like flea markets. Like we probably really need to look into selling it because I mean, we bought this stuff at like dirt cheap. Like people were like ready to throw it away prices and now it's all crazy. I'm going back here. I saw somebody, I saw a story about a power adapter here. What was the deal on that? My parents bought one of the first ones in the U.S. in 82. A couple of, oh, yeah, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The U.S. is 110. How'd that work on the TV? I know PAL has a different refresh rate. Does it still... Even if you have the power. <laughs> wow, my brother sold an NES that didn't work for two fifty. He must be an amazing salesman. <laughs> oh, oh, SCART connector. Yeah, that's not SCART's not common in the U.S. I think we have some random Mitsubishi TV at my parents' house. And I think it has a SCART on it. That's the only one I've ever seen. But we don't have anything that'll hook up to it. I think it's just like a holdover from like an international model or something. But yeah, yeah. I definitely remember fax machines. I s still sometimes have to use them. Hey, what's up, Zwar? Thanks for the lurk. Yeah, man. Hope you're, hope you're good, too. All right, Melissa... I'm going to butcher your last name, Boker. Thank you for this YouTube sub. But yeah, yeah, Zwar, having a good night. Hope you are too. Just doing my usual dumb thing. <laughs> We've been talking about old games and systems and stuff. I'm going to try to... Eventually, I'll get into the news. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Teresa. Yeah, the original Sim City. I played that on the Super Nintendo. I really like that one. I think the uh the first computer I got that was like mine, mine, not like a family computer. I, it was a Mac and it had SimCity 2000 on it. I played that one a lot. Let's see here. Well, I guess I can move on to the news. <laughs> everybody's not put everybody to sleep with nerd talk. <laughs> All right. So if you're not familiar, usually I put a little intro at the beginning of these. That way I can trim them out and uh, put them up for videos for the people that don't watch the lives. And again, this one, oh, I'll mention that in a sec. Let's see. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. I have a subscriber notification. <laughs> Margaret Manzo, thank you for the YouTube sub. Hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. We're going to do some news. This one got sent in. This one uh, from New Zealand. Sent in by a viewer. So if you want to send in your news, be sure to check out my email on the main page or in the description and send them in. So shearing the road. 5,000 sheep cause quintessential Kiwi traffic jam. <laughs> and this one has a video. I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Let's see. Motorists were treated to a quintessential Kiwi experience as nearly 5,000 sheep made their way on the hoof to, oh, it's going to be hard to say, uh, Ote Matata Station for shearing. The mix of Uhagets and Weathers were moved from near Lake Waitiki, Waitaki. Gosh. Your words are different and hard for me to say. <laughs> to... Ote Matata via Mount Benmore last Thursday. And they said the traffic on the State Highway 1 was mostly courteous and understanding. So shearing is a major event on the calendar of the Ote Matata station, which has been famed by the Cameron family for six generations. That's a lot of sheep. Let me blow that up. <laughs> In large, I mean. I don't, don't be mean the sheep. Wow. You know, so I, I've never been to New Zealand. My brother went, and that was one of the things he told me. He's like, there's so many sheep. There's sheep everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so the mob were on their annual trek to the shearing sheds where they would be drafted up and divided between Weathers and Uhagets before being shorn and sent back out on the hill. They were hoping to arrive at the shearing stations about mid-afternoon. So that is a big sheep migration. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine 5,000 sheep. That's crazy. Uh, let's see what the video says. What we got? About 5,000 sheep as a mix of ewes, hoggets and weathers were moved from near Lake Waitaki to Otamatata Station yesterday, Otamata. passing Lake Benmore on the way. Musterers say the traffic on State Highway 1 was mostly courteous and understanding. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit hairy <laughs> here and again, but um, no, at all in all, most of the traffic's pretty polite and patient, so we're getting through it slowly. <laughs> Otamatata Station has been farmed by the Cameron family for six generations, and the mob were on their annual trek to the shearing sheds. We're shearing them. So um, we'll draft them up and divide them between withers and a lot of sheep. Hoggets, and then, yeah, they'll go through and get shorn and go back out on the hill. The musterers were hoping to arrive at the shearing sheds about mid-afternoon, near Omarama, the south today. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot of sheep. And I didn't butcher that as bad as I thought, so hooray for that. Thank you, thank you for sending that in again. If anybody wants to send any news, it may get read on stream. Appreciate that. Let's see, Evie, did you know the official national animal of Scotland is the unicorn? I did not know that. And for Wales, it's the dragon. I have seen the dragon, I did not know about the unicorn. <laughs> Traffic was backed up. Nice. Yeah, that was a viewer submission. Let me blow this one up. This one is also a 
Oh yeah, I had to. Well, what? This one wouldn't let me look until I turn my ad blocker off. I don't usually use it, but for the news, like there's so many freaking ads on these news sites. It's one way to get fleeced on travel time. Nice. Today's been a day full of puns. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, this one was sent in. I guess I'm assuming it's Toronto Sun. This must be Canadian news. Check this one out. Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Bad Vibes. Got some more news. Hey, it's not from Florida. It's a, hey, we're going high brow. It's international. We've got a Canadian submission, I assume, since it's the Toronto Sun. But this is freaking galaxy brain level, uh, oceans 69 level of uh, crime here. <laughs> Porch pirates dress up as garbage bag to steal a package. So yeah, this is this one's pretty recent. Here's a photo. There are porch pirates, and then there are creative porch pirates. Genius porch pirates. I'm not saying stealing is right, but uh, you know, a for effort, I guess. Oh well, it's from California. I was thinking it was uh, Canadian. I guess it's just the newspaper. But one second here, we got a video. This is totally new to me, so I didn't know. Wait. Is this something totally unrelated? <laughs> okay, I don't know what I just played. Disregard. <laughs> All right, so a man in Sacramento, California was looking, or a man in Sacramento, California was looking at his surveillance system last week. I was shocked to see someone inside a trash bag waddling up to his entrance and then lumbering to, up to his doorstep to steal a package. You see the bag coming to my door. At first, I thought they were messing with me. And he said he received a notification that the package containing two phone chargers worth about 10 bucks had been delivered. He got home, but there was no package by the front door, so he checked, it, checked his security footage and saw the trashy thief in action. Hell yeah, puns. Okay, here's, here's the actual video, I think. Let's, let's check this out. <laughs> it's like a penguin. <laughs> So somebody must have played Metal Gear. They're like, I can't be detected as long as I move slowly enough. <laughs> wow. Sharon, hey, from Australia, thank you for hanging out with us. <laughs> so at first I was kind of angry, but then I saw the video again. I was laughing because people... These days have a lot of cre creativity. He added that he decided not to report the thefts because police have more important things to do, and he just reordered the chargers. I mean, honestly, with that video, he probably could have monetized it for enough money to buy all the chargers. <laughs> so he said if he's ever confronted by the thief again, he would tell them that was a good one. <laughs> The good-natured homeowner added, At the end of the day, it was kind of funny. I take everything in the good way because that's part of life. If you see the bad way of everything, you're going nowhere. Well, at least he had a good outlook on it. I mean, he, he, may, be, he may have been singing a different tune if it was a PS5 or something. But, I mean, yeah, for 10 bucks, I mean, honestly, <laughs> I probably would have laughed at that, too. Check it out. Do, do the replay. <laughs> Oh, does he have holes for air? I think he may. That's so freaking funny. <laughs> Is this going to be the, uh, the top Halloween costume this year?
Yeah. So thanks for sending that in. That that was that was good. <laughs> oh. So those those were submissions. If you're familiar, well, if you're not familiar with the stories we tend to do, we. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, there's enough errors going to get into the hole at the bottom. But uh, Florida tends to dominate the silly news because Florida is going to Florida. Florida man and Florida woman are very busy people. And so I think the next one may be my favorite one. All right. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. Can't escape it. We got Florida news. This one, I just love the headline. Florida woman doused herself in Mountain Dew to erase DNA after killing roommate in Daytona Beach. Uh, so yeah, uh, a woman was suspected of taking out her 79-year-old roommate, and she allegedly doused herself in soda in an attempt to erase poss possible evidence on her body, according to an arrest affidavit. She poured... Diet Mountain Dew all over her body once. Okay, hang on. I glad. Well, she used Diet Mountain Dew. That was that was important. She poured Diet Mountain Dew all over her body when police told her they were going to collect her DNA as part of the investigation. Authorities said her DNA was later found in the handle of a knife laying next to the victims at, uh, at the Daytona Beach home they shared. Nice. Uh, nice. Tattoos. <laughs> yeah. What's in Mountain Dew? <laughs> uh, so she was booked in jail on August 5th uh, for various things. <laughs> Obviously tampering with the evidence. So the story goes, uh, in the early morning hours of July 1st, a uh, police officer was flagged down by a citizen regarding a fire in a home. And when firefighters arrived at the scene, they extinguished the fire and found a man lying on the floor and he had blunt force trauma. Blah, blah, I don't want to go into all the details here. Uh, bad stuff happened. And he was identified. He was a 79-year-old man. So inside the home, police found a bloody knife in the bedroom. There was also blood on the wall next to the closet. So an officer found the suspect at a Crystal's restaurant. Man, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Uh, they, got the, they have the tiny hamburgers. It's like the... It's like crappier White Castle. So anyways, the suspect had no shoes on and had blood on the side of her leg. A portion of the shirt she was wearing had been torn or cut off. That portion had blood on it. So when officers approached her, she dropped a knife and a hammer she was carrying. Why not? Was she like, oh, I'm just cosplaying as the communist flag. So authorities said she changed her story multiple times when questioned. She denied knowing the victim and said he was homeless. She also denied carrying the knife and hammer, the report stated. And she later admitted to being his roommate, but denied seeing him on the day in question in regard to the knife and hammer. She claimed she often carried items like that because, you know, why you can't, my knife and hammer can't leave home without them. So anyways, when she asked about, when asked about the fire, she became agitated. Refused to speak and requested an attorney, authorities said. So while escorting her to the patrol car, detectives informed her they would be collecting her DNA. It was then that she asked police for a drink and they gave her a Diet Mountain Dew soda. An officer said she began to procrastinate while drinking the soda. And when a detective tried to grab the soda can from her, they say that she doused herself with it, pouring it on her body, over her body and hair, trying to interfere with the possible evidence on her body. She then began pulling in kicking officers as they tried to secure in the vehicle. So, of course, they found the DNA of the victim on the blade, and they found her DNA on the handle. And despite that, she has a plea of not guilty on all charges, and uh, they want to... So her attorney requested the doctor examine her to determine her mental competence to stand trial. I mean... <laughs> If you're pouring Mountain Dew on yourself. So this one has a video. I've not watched this yet. So we'll check that out. Hey, Hong Kong, Melissa. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. Saw that notification. 
Let's check out the video on this. Let's see what nonsense they may have to add. Accused of dousing herself with soda in an effort to wash away DNA. That DNA, her roommate's blood. Police say she killed him inside their home. Fox 35's Marie Edinger is live. Do the crime. Do the do. Tonight. <laughs> so Marie, you spoke with neighbors. What did they say? The neighbors told me they are still trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, Mountain Dew famous, famously washes off DNA. Who did it. <laughs> but I do want to mention that woman's lawyer is now saying she is not competent to stand trial. I mean, Daytona is she? police say they found 79 year old Michael Sarasoli dead upstairs in a burnt room with blunt force trauma to his head and multiple stab wounds. Evidence on scene led police to Sarasoli. Again, this was like an almost 80 year old man. Police what the heck? They found her. She was covered in blood, had weapons on hand, and didn't keep her story straight at all. When officers said they'd be <laughs> like connecting that. DNA evidence, they said Max asked for a drink, so they gave her a soda, which she poured on herself in an effort to get rid of the DNA. The like elderly man's neighbors told me they couldn't believe something like this would happen to someone like him. He's very quiet, very nice. Sometimes he sits on the porch like I do and <laughs> just sit down, relax, and that's it. Melham Farhad is an army veteran. He served in the Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm making lots of jokes. This is sad. I mean, this. at the end of the day, you know someone and then something bad happened to this guy. That's like, that's that's wow, BS. You know. Others are too. Just really brutal. Yeah. What is that like for you, living feet away from that? It's terrifying. I mean, I have a four-year-old daughter and whatnot, so it's it's just scary. Yeah, yeah first, she's go away. Not guilty to her roommate's forever. murder, but now her Put her under the prison. are arguing she can't aid in her defense and isn't mentally competent to stand trial. The neighbors you, ho you heard from both told me that police are patrolling the area more frequently now, and they hope that keeps up. They also hope Daytona Beach police crack down on some of the other crime in that area. Live in Daytona Beach, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News. Marie. This Daytona Beach. So, yeah. <laughs> Mountain Dew, it doesn't erase DNA. I mean, it's probably not great for you, but it's not bleach, <laughs> as somebody said. And just a little bit of an update. The bond hearing was delayed. <laughs> She's laughing about it in court. So, yeah. Yeah, she can totally stand trial. She's just, she's not incompetent. She's just dumb. <laughs> Florida. Do the crime, do the time, and also do the do. I wonder what kind it was. I mean, I guess at least it wasn't the sugary kind, so she wasn't all sticky. <laughs> I think they just left the doors off the psych, <laughs> the psych hospitals. Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately. Uh, let's see here. What else? Yeah, I got one more. I think Jen sent me this one. She may hop on the chat in a little bit, but, uh, let's see. Evie. <laughs> From the two times I've been there in the Florida, man, I made the mistake of dating for a while. Yeah, they'd be cray cray. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think most internet news sites have a Florida tag at this point. There's like whole. Florida subreddits. <laughs> All right, let me get through this one. I'll draw some stuff. Jen sent me some bonkers one. Da Daily Mail is really good about having crazy news, I've noticed. Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Bad Vibes. I got some more silly news. This one may not be from Florida. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where this came from. So, it doesn't go back to the roots of the channel. It does have to involve an airplane. A single woman has earned herself a spot in the viral Hall of Fame after announcing her desire to find herself a rich husband over an airplane loudspeaker. She was on board a flight from Miami to New York. Oh, wait, it, Florida is involved. <laughs> when she had the genius idea to put a call out to potential suitors. And decided to enlist the help of a flight attendant to help her carry out her somewhat brazen plan. 
The 29 year old admits she's not a fan of dating apps and she prefers to meet people in person and decided that a mile high aircraft was as good a spot as any to look for a potential love match. So after noticing the seat next to her was empty, she took the opportunity to find her next beau. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a whole gallery here. Let's see what we got. So she's looking for a rich husband. She's got a whole. She's got like a whole. Q oh, yeah, she had a QR code too. The pilot's like, hmm. Okay. So she just got on the plane. It's just like, hey, rich dudes, hit me up. So we'll check the video in a sec. In a clip that, which was posted to TikTok, the content creator can be seen discussing her plan with an air hostess. She then holds up a sign with a QR code that links her social media accounts. The sign reads, looking for a rich husband, DM me. In the video, she says, hi guys, I'm looking for a rich husband. My seat is 2A. Please join me if you're rich. <laughs> the announcement was met by a round of applause on the aircraft, with the pilot even popping out of the cockpit to have a look at the commotion. <laughs> so she was flooded with praise, both, with the idea, both for the idea and her confidence, after sharing the video online, where it has since been viewed for more than 1.5 million times. I don't know if that's... To be applauded? I don't know. I mean, whatever. So she shared the airplane staff were incredibly supportive of my idea. They really appreciate the creative creativity and enthusiasm behind it. I mean, I guess she's being serious, but was it just a TikTok thing? <laughs> Let's see. To my surprise, they were not only happy to help, but even called the captain who was also on board with the idea. He even commented that it was a brilliant concept. I'm so grateful for the kindness and encouragement of the entire crew, especially the amazing support from my fellow female passengers. The reaction on the plane was amazing. So many people were cheering me on and congratulating me on my creativity. Someone even, some even scanned my QR code to subscribe right then and there. Although I haven't found my future husband yet, the experience gave me a huge boost of confidence and motivation. She says the, uh, that the idea first sprung to mind when she sported a QR code on her suitcase and she just had to try it out on her flight. So, yeah, she... Why is it... I mean, everybody's applauding this. That's fine. But when she's specifically asking for a rich person, that's kind of sketch, but whatever. <laughs> I won't deny that a rich husband is something I desire. It's not because I'm materialistic or shallow, you know, because money can't buy happiness or something. I don't know. I know what I want, and I'm unapologetic about pursuing it. All right. Social media users have lapped up care, uh, life. Hang on. I try not to read the names. Let me go back here. I know what I want, and I'm unapologetic about pursuing it. Social media users have lapped up her creativity and rushed to support her on her quest to find a rich husband. I approve this message. Online dating is not working for anyone. I would love to have the courage she has. She's manifesting it. I admire her dedication. <laughs> the fact she let you do this is awesome. Pilot be like, am I rich enough? <laughs> hey, pilots get paid pretty well. I mean, if you want to do it, more power to you. But is that the best way to go about finding somebody? Uh, I don't think. Yeah, shallow and uncouth. <laughs> I mean, you can spray it. You can you can lay this out any way you want. I mean, she's still digging for gold. Let's see what the video has here. After this ad. But yeah. Here's the thing. Why don't she earn her own money and get a job would be a good start. Yeah. I think if your first thing is money probably not great okay hi guys my name is carolina key i will be for the rich husband my seat is 2a please join me for rich <laughs> <laughs> i 
I guess they're just laughing at it. I don't know if it's like they're like, yay, go girl. I think Whatever your like, business needs, Vistaprint can print it. Like pack. Yeah, I don't think they're applauding it. I think they're just like, haha, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, bless her heart. I think that was the actual reaction. <laughs> She's an influencer. Oh, uh, well, I believe somebody proposing that at the beginning would influence me to say, no thanks. So there's that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I guess she, at least she was honest about being a gold digger. You know, if you're going to say it up front, you know, if you're like, you can't really say anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. She admitted she's shallow and materialistic by saying she isn't. <laughs> Narcissist playbook. Well, that was all the news I had. So, here, find my, there we go. Make this fit here. All right, well. Do do some silly drawings. <laughs> I could by saying sewer squad. I think it's like some kind of like splinter cell of like ninja turtles or something. With sewer squads <laughs> like the anti ninja turtle task force. <laughs> Russia, Nacho Kid, Nacho Kid. <laughs> yeah, I think Nacho Kid might have to be the first thing. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. So my questions, uh, I'll probably start with the Nacho Kid and then think about uh, what else I could draw. I might do do a couple here real quick. I don't want to miss the kids' bedtime, so do a few of these and then may call it a stream. But yeah, the Nacho Kid. Oh yeah, 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 Tanya. Yeah, I know who the Sewer Squad is. I'm just, I'm just laughing about the name. What? Oh, that's weird. My screen. My screen was lagging. Stop. What is up? Yeah, so I, I have an older iPad. It's it's acting goofy. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Lag averted. Oh, wait. Forgot, so we're not sitting in awkward silence. A little background music going. Copyright free. So I do pencil and paper. I, I would like to do pencil and paper. I don't have like an overhead camera at the moment. Um, but I will, I, I definitely do want to set that up at some point. Um, Jen has an older channel that's like for like little kids. So we, we used to have a setup where I would, uh, I think I would stick my phone in like a selfie stick 
and I had like a little art station <laughs> downstairs. And so I did uh, drawings for kids. It was, it's, been, it's been a few years, but uh, I can probably dig that back out and make it happen. Nacho time. <laughs> yeah, spam them not to. Nacho Kid. <laughs> Let's see. Get a reference photo real quick. Of the teeth. There's a good pinch channel to find it. Looks like they've, they're trying very hard to not make that the first search result. <laughs> Cheesy nacho. Sorry, one sec. I'm trying to trying to find a photo of the teeth here. <laughs> Aniv, the uh, the AI bot, <laughs> is learning. Don't spend it on Doritos, only nachos. Jen's channel here. Hey guys, welcome Ooh, back to Real Housewives. <laughs> oh, there it is. TurboTax Live, full service. Take. Got her video here. I want a, I want a good reference photo. <laughs> Such an odd face to make. <laughs> Get the nose right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nacho Kid. Yes. <laughs> yes, Tanya. It's a little Easter egg. We talked about a reflection, possibly in the earring, so let's go. Hard to draw that small. There we go. Harry's reflection of the earring. Yeah, I like the yeah, EV, I like the uh, interactivity of the chat stuff. I'll try to make make little fun things happen. We should put that on a t-shirt, I would <laughs> Grace, I'll just open my eyes. Thanks for this, Jay, and I won't go to sleep. Yeah, sorry, I gave you a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> Well, there's that. Any other ideas I can do? I could draw something else. Let me share that one on Twitter. I'm afraid to put that one up on YouTube. <laughs> this, they may, I may get reported. <laughs> uh, let's see. What, oh yeah, yeah, the Mountain Dew. What did she look like? How about that? If, if nobody disagrees, let's draw the Mountain Dew DNA eraser. Oh, the sheep. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah, the garbage bag is pretty good too. I may have to I may have to go with the Mountain Dew one. <laughs>
They're a little disheveled. Mountain Dew sheep with garbage bag <laughs> creeping up on them. We can make that happen. Yeah, if she gets a Mountain Dew tattoo, she get Mountain Dew for life. Should go back and color these, <laughs> make it a little more. Make a little more sense, I guess. We'll add the sheep in. Cheap. garbage bag. <laughs> He's got 
that holes. He doesn't want to be part of this crime. <laughs> Do the crime. Do the do. There we go. Got all the news wrapped up in one <laughs> nice bow. Almost the kids bedtime so I may have to call it a stream but I'm not gonna leave everybody hanging so on the YouTube side I'm gonna set up an instant premiere I'm gonna premiere the uh, I clipped out my um, the, the go-kart story from last week and I put in some Mario Kart sound effects so if you're on YouTube, I'm going to roll over to that, and on Twitch, I will probably, uh, I think one of my friends might be on, let me see, I'll send this over, no, he's not on, let me see who's on Twitch, I'll send a raid on Twitch, who we got? And zero timeouts, you gotta fucking love the zero timeout. Gina Costa. There we go. We got Zofar. I like him. Yeah, we're gonna raid. I'll probably raid Zofar. He's he's actually the guy that ran the Zofar's domain website back in the day. If you're in the emulation, it may ring a bell. He's cool. He's playing some Sega stuff right now. I'm gonna set up Zofar to raid. And over on YouTube, I'm going to set up um, Premiere. Give me one second. I'm going to set up a time on it. We got to set it for the next few minutes. send all the YouTube people over to the premiere of the Florida Mario Kart thing and I'll do a raid over to Zofar I think he's getting ready to start but thanks again everybody for hanging out I really appreciate it uh, it means a lot you know and hey thanks for watching on Twitch too like uh, I feel like YouTube's kind of been overtaking Twitch but I do simul stream the Twitch right now it's a little more interactive but uh, I'm trying to balance both out so there's features on both that you know we can all use but um let me just set this up and i don't think so far he's still got a few minutes so we'll go ahead and raid him and he'll probably start oh jen's on right now oh yeah yeah jen yeah so this is a culmination of all the drawings we've got Lady that tried to erase her mountain her DNA with Mountain Dew, and um, the guy that uh, hid in a trash bag and all the sheep. But uh, I'm gonna try to draw the brain. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so I'm gonna raid on Twitch, YouTube. I'm gonna send it over to a premiere on a video. We can still chat. Uh, it'll be over on the premiere so i'm going to do that right now so thanks everybody for hanging out i really appreciate it we'll do these a little more often so i'll see you next time okay youtube people i'm going to send you to the video right now